Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa. Today I'm sure this 2011 Nissan Bluebird. It has 58,000 kilometers on it, which is about 36,000 miles. That is it. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you uh, get on the lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars and have a look around. Even before you get your silver driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. All right, and I did say this is uh, this did, uh, did just come in, okay? So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show you the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the financing. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Nissan Bluebird is a five-passenger vehicle in the 500 series category, so the mid-size category. Road tax per year is going to be 7,500 yen, which is about $50 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now you do have two ways to pay for this. First one being U.S. dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, it was like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it's going to give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You got to try to keep that dash as cool as possible. So with that, let's jump on inside. Let's get this thing started. Again, it just came in, but it's actually really clean. Uh, okay. Uh, key fob on your person. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and crank it over as if the key was in there. And then if this key fob battery dies, you can slide this out. And this comes out like a regular key. You just put it in there. This uh, cap comes off. So let's turn that radio off. Sorry, Troy. All right. 58,262 on the odometer. I'll show you a couple of warning lights. That green one right there, that's your temperature gauge. So it's gonna be green when the engine's cool and it's gonna remain on, that's normal. When the engine warms up, it's gonna go away, that's normal. And then it's gonna be red if it's overheating. Be on the lookout for that, that's not normal. See, so the, uh, we had this thing started before, so the engine is warmed up and that's why it just went off. Um, the one right there, that uh, circular one, is your emergency brake. This one is a kick type, so when you kick it, disengage, it goes away, kick it again, comes right back on. And that one, of course, is your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts, they do give tickets on and off base. Other than that, a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. That thing pops up on a dash, while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Especially if it's red. Uh, universally, red is bad, so uh, pull over, find out what it is. Alright, off the left here, in the middle of the dash, you have a compartment for storage. You have your radio. Air conditioning controls, uh, ashtray lighter, your shifter, a uh, little storage here. If you put this down, they have cup holders. Okay, oops. And then you have your armrest slash uh, uh, console here. It's going to give you um, a little tray up top, and then you a little more uh, storage on the bottom. Okay. Off to the left here, you have this two-tier uh, glove box that goes all the way back, and a little bit of space and storage on the door panels. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red rope flare hanging out. And then this is the space. Ooh, this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I could drive as is or slide this up a couple inches and still be comfortable driving. Uh, this does have a compartment for your sunglasses as well. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. And I like to take this time to show the auction sheet. Or, I'm sorry, normally this is the time I show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all the cars. We can for each one. Uh, but because it just came in, I keep those inside the office until it's been detailed. Once detailed, I'm going to put it up here on a sun visor on the driver's side so you see it for yourself. And we'll also help you decipher it if need be. And there are uh, dealers out here that will try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. All right, so let's show you a couple other things before we go to the, uh, the back seat. All right, so off to the right here, you do have uh, your mirror controls. And then this one's gonna control the angle of your headlights. So maybe it's a foggy morning, you wanna see the street a little better, that's where you're gonna do it. 
and you have your trunk release here and please don't forget you got two levers down here the one on the right is your gas cover release one on the left is your hood release please don't forget this one's there okay and on the door panel you have your door lock and window controls right here I think that's it. I'm gonna give my phone a, just a little blast of the uh, AC there so it doesn't overheat. But the AC's kicking. It's really nice. So let's uh, turn this off. Let's head to the back. Look at all this space. All right. But look at this. With the seat all the way back and I had plenty of uh, room up there, I'm a good four inches away from the back seat to my knees uh, back here. Uh, each seat back does have pocket storage. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. Uh, nothing as far as storage on the door panels. What is this? This is nothing. But you do have a center console that's going to come down or slash armrest. And it's going to give you two cup holders. Okay? But just an amazing amount of space in this car. I think these cars are very underrated. All right, let's go to the back here. All right, look at this huge trunk. I mean, where do they where do they get all the space with, uh, for this car? Just absolutely huge. Okay. And this looks like it's a... Yeah, this is an aftermarket uh, carpet that somebody had put in. Okay. And then the seats do not uh, fold down or anything else like that. All right. Let's go to the front. Show the engine compartment. We're going to wrap this video up. There you go. All right, there you have it. This is a two liter engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. I should say touched up because it's pretty clean. Whoever had this uh, took care of it. Really, really clean car for just coming in. All right, so 2011 Nissan Bluebird. 58,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 36,000 miles. That is it. Military price was down to 4,800. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 4,600. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 4600 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement. That's whether you're going with liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick yes, there are two year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny's Used Cars to show we have, what our program's all about, and how we're going to assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car, and Okinawa Award. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, U.S. dollars cash out rate, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.